Hello everyone! Every October 2nd, Batik Day was celebrated in Indonesia. Batik is a traditional Indonesian garment that is a UNESCO heritage site. So, how is the Batik long way to UNESCO? Let's explain now. Batik is an Indonesian Victoria cloth that is specially made by whitening or waxing the cloth and treating it in a particular way that has its own characteristic. Batik is considered an important culture icon in Indonesia. Indonesians wear batik as casual and formal wear that can be used at various events. The art of layering fabrics with wax or color barrier techniques using wax is one of the Asian evolved. In Asia, Technique like batik were also used in China during the Tang Dynasty, India, and Japan during the Nara period. In Africa, this technique are known from the Yoruba people of Nigeria and the Shoinke and Wolof people in Senegal. Although the word batik is of Javanese origin, there is no recorded instance of batik in Java itself. John Warren and the Wenders believe that batik traditions are endemic to regions such as Toraja, Flores, Tamahera, and Papua. In European literature, this party technique was first described in Sir Thomas Westford Raffer's book, The History of Java. He was the British governor of Java. In the 1890s, a group of young artists of Amsterdam introduced the party technique to interior decoration, furniture, and later fashion. The peak of its popularity was between 1918 and 1925, being popular in Holland, Germany, France, Poland, and England. Before proceeding this video, please subscribe this channel like this video and hit the notification bell. It all started with a UNESCO team meeting in Jakarta about how Batik was inscribed on the representative list of UNESCO intangible cultural heritage of humanity and about the importance and pride of batik given to many Indonesians. Many batik artists from Central Java explaining that batik has become an important source of livelihood for them and the local communities. Bratin's group share inspiring stories about how they grew from zero to hero. Their story goes from employed as a low-wage laborer 
in a batik factory where they work with 169 women to sustainably increase their income on January 9 2009 the UNESCO application for batik for humanitarian heritage of oral and intangible culture was officially accepted the government of indonesia established national batik day to raise public awareness of indonesian efforts to protect and develop batik the sign of the use batik shirts in connection with national day on october 2 2019 this is the struggle for batik to become a unesco heritage site i hope you know a lot about batik thanks for watching see you later